What is up guys, it's Modern Warfare here and welcome back to another PC tutorial. So in this tutorial what we're going to be looking at is how to create a network drive between all the different computers on your local area network. On your home network you can basically create something that just looks like a hard drive. It shows up on every computer just as a hard drive and every computer can access it. So they can all read, read files from it, copy files from it, write files to it, uh, modify files. It just makes file transferring from one computer to another on your home network so much faster, so much easier than transferring over using USB sticks or setting up a home FTP server. It literally takes about two minutes to set up and it's so seamless once you have it set up. Another thing that it's good for as well is expanding the storage in your other computers that maybe don't have a lot of storage space. You might have one computer that has I don't know, three terabytes of storage, and then you may have a couple of laptops that are maybe old and only running 60 gig hard drives or 120 gig hard drives. You can basically share that four terabyte from one computer and share it with all the other computers um, on your local area network so that they can store files on that four terabyte drive as well. So yeah, definitely useful thing to set up and it's so quick and easy to set up that honestly, you, you should, even if you don't transfer files, between the different computers in your house that often it's still a useful thing to set up so basically what we need to do is you need to have select the computer that you want to host the network drive so you need to have a computer that is going to host the network drive I recommend you either go with the computer that has uh, the most storage capacity or the computer that's switched on the most throughout the day because when the co computer's turned off then the network drive is going to lose connection you're not going to be able to connect to it if the computer that's hosting the drive is switched off so try and maybe select the computer that is on the most throughout the day so I'm going to go ahead and select my four terabyte hard drive here and I'm going to create a new folder because we're just going to share a folder it's still going to show up on the other computers as a hard drive but it's just one folder that we're going to be sharing the reason for this is I've got other files here on my uh, four terabyte hard drive that I don't want the network drives to have access to because these files I only have use for these files on my main gaming computer and I don't want um, the other laptops and other computers on my home network accessing these files because they have no reason to so if I just create a new folder and I just share that folder then it's only this space that um, the other computers are going to have access to. So I'm basically going to rename this folder to home because it's going to be my home drive that all the computers are going to have access to. You can call it whatever you want and then just right click the folder, go to share with specific people and you don't want to select a user account because then they're going to have to enter the username and password of the account every time they want to access the drive. So we're going to select everyone from this drop down menu then click add and then select read and write because I want to be able to read and write on any computer that's trying to access that drive or that folder should I say and then we just click share and keep a note of the address that shows up down here because uh, you're going to need to uh, map that as a network drive on the other computers in order for it to show up so keep a note of that address click done and that is pretty much it. So one thing you do need to do though is go into network, go into network and sharing center and change uh, advanced sharing settings. Now when you shared the file it would have automatically turned on network discovery and file and printer sharing. So it does this because normally when you share um, the normal kind of connection sharing is you go into network and then your other computers show up in here and then you double click one it asks for the user account name and password and then you can access the folder that way not the best solution we don't need to use that so we can turn network discovery off we do still need file and printer sharing on the host computer the computer that's hosting the network drive still needs to have file and printer sharing turned on but not network discovery um, another thing we need to go ahead and do is turn off password protected sharing on the host computer because we don't want um, to have to enter a user account name and password every time we want to access the network drive on another computer. That's just going to take up too much time. We just want to access it like a normal hard drive. So we're going to turn that off and we're going to save changes. It's not really a security risk because 
we're only going to be writing to that one folder anyway. That's, that's all we've given access to is just that one folder. So now that we've done that, we can go ahead and map the network drive. So you can do it on the host computer as well, just to make sure it's working. So what you want to do is select the map network drive option up here. So you just uh, start computer and then map network drive. Now on Windows 8 and Windows 10, this, this kind of options menu looks a bit different, but there's still a map network drive option. It's just in the computer tab and then map network drive and just select it. And now we can just enter that address that um, I told you guys to note down before, which was backslash backslash Lee dash PC backslash home for mine. And then I can just um, make sure to reconnect at login. So we've got access to that network drive every time you um, log into your account and then just click finish and it will access the network drive and there it is down there. So you can literally do this now with every other computer in your house. Now for the other computers that are connecting to the host computer, they don't actually need file and printer sharing turned on or network discovery or password protection, protected sharing turned off. Though That's totally fine. You can have all those options turned off on the other computers. It's just the host computer that's hosting the network drive that must have file and printer sharing turned on. And now I can do the exact same thing on all the other computers on my house. So I'll just show you me doing it on my laptop as well. Same exact thing. Once I have it set up on the host computer on my laptop, I can just go to map network drive, enter the backslash backslash Lee dash PC backslash home, and then just click OK. And it adds it just as it did on the host computer. And now if I write any file to that drive from my laptop or my desktop, both computers are going to be able to have access to the files on there. They're both going to be able to modify the files on there, delete them or whatever, transfer them to the local drives. It's just incredibly useful. So another thing, a few things I should mention about this, that um, a few problems that can crop up. If you're having issues connecting to the network drive on another computer, then it might be worth just turning on network discovery and file and printer sharing on those computers as well. Normally you don't have to, but if it's having trouble connecting to the network drive, then turn on network discovery and file and printer sharing on the other computers. Um, other than that, uh, another problem that can crop up is if you have the same PC name on multiple computers. So this computer is called Lee-PC. It's sharing the folder across the network. Let's say that my laptop was also called Lee-PC then it's going to get confused. It's not going to allow you to map the network drive. Now, there is a way around this. Um, obviously, the, the, the more logical thing to do is just change the PC name on the laptop to something else, which you can do by simply um, going to computer, right clicking, going to properties, and then going to change settings, and then uh, change, and then you can change the computer name. It will require a restart. But you can do that so that uh, each computer on your house has a different name. Or you can add the IP address instead of the host name. So if I go to the command prompt, for some reason it's taking forever to open. So I go to the command prompt here and I type in IP config. This is going to tell me my IP address. And you can see on my wireless network connection, is, which is what I'm using to connect to the internet, um, my IP address is 192.168.1.95 so instead of doing lee-pc I could add this address instead so if I go ahead and just disconnect from the network drive and then map it again but this time I can map it using the IP address backslash home then it should work just the same the only problem with doing this is that IP addresses change quite often, so it's not a good idea to use the IP address because if the IP address changes, then you have to map the network drive again on each computer to the new IP address. So it's much better to use the host name. So that is one way of getting around it. If you have multiple computers that have the same name, then you can just use the IP address and it should work fine. However, I do recommend using the host name so you're better off just changing the PC name of each computer in your house so that they all have different names to one another. And that's it. So, so another problem that can appear is if you're running Windows 8, Windows 8.1 or Windows 10, this does not apply to Windows 7 or any older operating systems than Windows 7, 
but if you're running Windows 8, Windows 8.1 or Windows 10, then there are two different types of accounts on Windows 8 and Windows 10. There's the local accounts and then there's live accounts. So live accounts is when you your user account on your computer is your, like your Hotmail account. Uh, those are not compatible with each other. So say you were hosting the network drive on a live account and then you're trying to access it on another computer using a local account, it's not going to work. They need to all be local accounts in order for this to work. So if you're finding that's an issue where you're trying to map the network drive on another computer and it's still asking you for login credentials even though you've turned off password protected sharing and it just won't work, then that could be the issue. You, you've got like a live account, a Hotmail account is sharing the, the network drive or maybe a local account sharing the network drive but the computer connecting to it's using a live account, then it's not gonna work. So make sure all the computers are local accounts and then you shouldn't have any problems. So yeah, that's basically it. Incredibly useful thing to set up and it, I know I took a bit a bit of time to explain it all, but um, honestly, if you're just doing this yourself, once you know how to do it, it literally takes about two minutes to set up and you're, you're ready to go. So if this helped, go ahead and leave a like, subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, comment if you have any questions, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Shuffling